We are saying bye to the 2022 Mustang GT convertible. Find out, is it because it was bad? Are there things we didn't like about it? Or was it all love? Well, find out, we're gonna go through the whole vehicle explaining quickly what we loved, why we're selling it. We sell, we, we change vehicles often, but there's always a reason behind it. So stay tuned. First of all, explain to us what we love about the Mustang GT. Yeah, the first impression that I had with that car was the sound. The GT is incredible for the sound. Staying with active exhaust. You really love to put the pedal. You, when you go to the to a stop sign, you're not afraid to uh, go back after because you want to hear the sound. So that that's the the biggest. Um, interesting point of that car <laughs> so you love the sound on the mustang gt now we've so had 2015 2016 2017 gt the 2018 which we also had we saw a huge difference so yeah. if you're looking to buy a used mustang try to get a 2018 or newer yeah. because you'll get a lot better sound it's edition two of the five liter coyote engine and other big difference uh, about uh, the 2018 and 2022 now is the comfort of the seat so uh, when you're on a bad road that like we have in here in Quebec uh, it's so comfortable you don't have a, a problem with your back at all and the last thing I love about the car is the mag I know it's not the original one but this one with that color that that gray charcoal color fits very well with the rest I love the look now I definitely love the big brakes on this so yeah with, I'm with Marie here the sound has just been incredible on this vehicle and the braking is actually very touchy you need to know going into this that you'll have brakes that if you just touch them a little this thing's gonna break a ton those are huge brakes because those are 20 inch wheels you definitely want to get a gen 2 coyote 5 liter v8 because the sounds a whole lot better you definitely want to get it with active valve so the active exhaust valve you've got a little switch you can really light it up when it comes to sound and then you got to debate are you going to go premium to get the big 12 inch cluster behind the steering wheel There's that incredible sound. You can play around with colors, so I'll do a little tutorial on that in another video. So to not miss out any Mustang information, do like and subscribe, hit the bell notification button so you don't miss out, but I'll do a tutorial on how to change the colors on the dash. Fantastic sound. Touch screen starting to get small by you know today's standards, but eight inches is plenty. You'll have a great a great amount of fun with eight inches. It gets the job done. Navigation, so that all comes with the premium model. This would be the 401. Leather on the door, nice stitching, soft touch everywhere. You've got this fake leather dash with the stitching. I believe it's fake leather, it's soft touch. So being that it's fake leather, it's not gonna crack underneath the heat. So that's something you should know. You've got memory seats if you go premium as well. So we have loved this vehicle, but why are we selling it? Well, stay tuned, we'll let you know. So we're selling the Mustang GT because, well, it's dirty. And once a car gets dirty, we have to sell it. No, <laughs> and we're not selling it either because we had the world's ugliest carpet mats in it that we bought so that's on us and we're not but selling it color is horrible with the dust <laughs> it is it is bad with the dust and we're not selling it either because we've got big ford lightning payments to make we love that it's great gets us to work for free but the reason we're selling the mustang is we've got different plans apparently i learned that you can't go for convertible rides with a newborn baby so if you've got a baby in a baby seat, I've been told I will not get to drive at blaringly fast speeds with the top open. So what's the point of a convertible at that point? I loved this vehicle. It didn't have transmission issues as some 2015, 2016, you know, the early 10 speed. If you're, this is a 2022, but if you're looking to buy a used Mustang, you can be very safe getting a 20, 21 or 22 or newer 10 speed. Our 18, it did annoy me. Sometimes it would accelerate on its own. Sometimes it seemed confused what gear to go in. <laughs> Generally, always at low speed. So up until it got to third gear, it seemed a little confused. 
and it was a little annoying. We've had manual Mustangs before, the G-Track, pretty decent transmission. The 10 speed, the first editions, very good, unless you get one that hesitates a little, but good news, there's a service bulletin, Ford will actually reprogram it for you, and it'll actually, for almost everybody, everyone I know, it has fixed their issue. This 10 speed, I absolutely love blazing fast so if you want the full review check out our full review we've done a full review on the mustang this just to let us know that well we're going to get a vehicle that's more baby appropriate coming to the channel and the mr2 is coming back because it's been at the mechanics getting worked on but the mr2 is coming back it's awfully windy so i'm going to go hide behind this transit this wall here but we're going to get a fa more family appropriate vehicle because the convertible Apparently babies get ear infections when you take them along for a ride in a convertible. So that's our big news. We're selling the Mustang. This is our last day with it. Love the engine, love the sound, love the suspension, love the braking. This is the best sports car you can get for the money. So try one out if you haven't. And my huge recommendation, get a 2018 or newer. If you want to avoid the chances, try it out. Make sure that transmission isn't hesitating or being a little clunky, you could say. And if so, buy an 18 if it's a good deal. But if you can, get a 2020 or newer. But 18 and up, fantastic sounding engine. You are gonna love this. It's a misconception that Mustangs don't handle well. Older Mustangs, yes, they don't handle well. These handle amazingly, folks. You'll love your Mustang. You will not regret this purchase. So big 10 on 10 for this vehicle when you know on the scale of rating you take price into consideration and getting a new one is actually pretty safe because they're one of the best vehicles when it comes to depreciation they barely depreciate with time i own this for a year losing three thousand dollars so driving all last spring summer and fall and all this spring three thousand dollars that's no biggie folks it's been great to us so marie say bye to the car and say bye to everyone here and we'll hope to have a Bronco because we still want a convertible, but a, a bigger car to be able to have all the family in it. Stay tuned to find <laughs> out what we end up getting as a more family, you know, what do I, Johnny here, consider as a more family appropriate car. <laughs> Stay tuned. We can be surprised. The MR2 <laughs> is coming back. We do have the truck in the background, but this had to go. So thank you very much, everyone, for watching. Really appreciate all your support. You want to give a little send off? Yeah, we wish you more cars and more power. And don't forget to subscribe because it helps feed and dress those poodles.